Mr. President, and you must ask for explanation on this. In December, December 7th, this regime, Tinubu, Bola Tinubu administration, gave out 135 billion naira to governors to fight COVID-19 in 2023. Do you know what I'm talking about? Last December, they gave out 123 billion to, no, 235, you can go. To fight COVID-19. <laughs> furthermore, furthermore, and this must be our demand from here. This regime must, and if we have to go to the street, it's so fundamental. This regime yes, must, sir. must, comrade, must. Yes. We are house the gains of the removal of first subsidy and channel it towards alleviating the poverty of our people. What I mean is this, again you can Google. In April last year, what the three tires of government, the federal government, the state government, and local government shared was 655 billion dollars in April. When subsidy was removed, right? First of all, since June, according to the Minister of Finance, you can go, Walia, there's no month, no month that less than one trillion has been shared. As a matter of fact, you can quote me on this. In June last year, what they shared was 1.9 trillion. They were balanced when they got to Abuja. Where is this money come from? They had to save 900 billion and shared, please, and shared 1 trillion in December last year. You know, the governors came to Lagos to celebrate with. Are you aware? Yes. That month, what was shared was 1.7 trillion. That is apart from the 135 billion I just told you about. So if anybody tells you Nigerians for sacrifice because there's no money, tell them what they are saying is bonkun and push it. So what we should be demanding? Where are the gates of subsidy yes. Yes. Do you understand me? Yes. When we had a situation like this, a little situation under Abacha, as bad as Abacha was, he set up what we call the PTS. You understand me? Yes, sir. The gains of Fali Chris then was kept and used to address infrastructural <laughs> crisis in the country. So this time around, we are demanding for our right because what they told us, all of us, subsidy is gone. I mean, they said the gains of subsidy will be used to address the problems of unemployment, of insecurity, of food crisis, and so on and so forth. But today, the people have been forgotten. These National Assembly people who are pretending in the last few days, senators call, the managers of the economy, House of Rep call them and they address the press that we want to help the poor. Let the poor breathe. These ones, please, each of them in Abuja, including those who had no bicycle before they went there, mm -hmm. gave themselves mm -hmm. a one sixty million naira jeep. Each of them. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to try a challenge to you, comrades. The budget of National Assembly this year was one seventy eight billion naira. The National Assembly member themselves rewrote the budget 
and raise it to 344 billion. And they pretend, oh, that we have to suffer together. We understand your pain. We are addressing your problem. Liars. It is a lie. Mm. Yes. Unless you demand for your rights, right. nobody will give you your rights. Yes. Yeah. I think Fela made the point. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. Nobody can yes. human rights is not my property. Nobody can ask me. So we must end this with a commitment to mobilize our people, to demand for their rights.